morning and welcome to Cyprus. So it's, uh, what day is it? I've lost track. Thursday. It's Thursday the 23rd and we're on our way to the house. Um, we kind of had a quick glimpse of the house last night. It was dark. We tried to park in the driveway but it's so overgrown that we couldn't. So I just walked past the house and went to my cousin's house so we're on our way there I'll take you with me so we'll see the house together for the first time remember it will be met it will be in a mess so um yeah this is the road ahead I'll just show you what we're looking at just now it's, I mean it's a beautiful sunny day so I'll just show you the road basically that's what we're looking at just now okay we are sitting in the driveway. Do you want to see what we're looking at right now? Basically a jungle. Here we go. This is the overgrown driveway. Oh man. If my mum and dad could see this now. No, thank goodness they can't see it. Anyway, let's go and explore. And I've got a terrible fear of my... <laughs> <laughs> Oh, awful, 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 awful. Yep, it's a mess that the burglars left. Then get the gloves on and get started. Don't know where to start though. Okay, so this is the uh, old town of Nicosia. You can see all the old buildings just there. We're just driving through now. This is a famous road for the day. You know that. <laughs> right, my husband's just uh, told me that this was um, years ago the road that... Cabaret we, Street. <laughs> that um, the ladies of the night used to um, come and uh, get their business. We side streets. And of course my battery's gonna run out. There we go. This This is Mama's sitting room. And uh, this is how our life ends up. Bags of rubbish. And this is why I keep telling you enjoy life while you can. Look, all just gets binned thrown away. Yep. Good morning and welcome to the 24th of November. Um, that's us just leaving the hotel. We're going to stop at a supermarket, pick up some cleaning stuff, mop, bucket and all of that. Um, I was pretty rubbish yesterday at vlogging. It was just too mind blowing to say the least you know we couldn't get into the house the, the key wouldn't work the kind of lock had seized up so that was we had to get a locksmith so we got a locksmith i managed to get in through the back door but obviously you know we needed the front door lock fixed so we got that fixed we've ordered a skip and um, started clearing out the house and of course everybody's telling you to be ruthless and just throw everything away and not to think about it but actually it really isn't that easy when you're throwing away not only your parents life but a lot of memories that I grew up with so it's not that easy and initially I started I've got a lot of things I've got a lot of summer clothes as do my daughter-in-laws and everybody would stay at my mum's and kind of leave their bets for going back the next time so it was a lot easier for me to clean out my own clothes just to get something done because cleaning out my mum and dad's because my mum never ever cleared out my dad's clothes either um, just it was an easier thing for me to do so um so I, you know I, I, what it is it wasn't the fact of taking their clothes it was the fact of taking their clothes and throwing them in a skip did i say we ordered the skip i can't remember but anyway yeah we ordered the skip so the skips there and 
it wasn't until my auntie came and you know she's also seeing her sister's things and um, kind of you know getting rid of her sister's things so she says to me what don't throw them out just put them in bags and drop them off to clothes banks and things like that which you know if I was in Scotland I would have naturally have done but when you're in another country and, and you you know do they have charity shops do they have all these things I don't know so she came in and it then became a lot easier to um, start taking my mum's clothes out and I said to my auntie you know take what you want whatever you want just take so it, it, it then became easier to start clearing out their clothes and you know the other thing is um, I, I don't I probably not mentioned this but my dad was a tailor a very successful tailor and you know he he used to be taken from country to country to to tailor for certain people and anyway, so when I look at my dad's suits the suits that he made you know and you're taking them out the wardrobe and basically binning them and you're know, good quality clothes but anyway it's done I've bagged them I managed to do them you know at one point I needed to leave the house and I, and I said to my husband let's just go I, I just it was before I didn't know what to do with my mum and dad's clothes and it and it was the thought of putting them in the skip and I said to him let's just go so that I, I've got footage of that I don't know if I've I'll add it on but we kind of just drove through Nicosia um, and then came back to the house and got stuck in so we've got electricity which is a bonus and um, we didn't think we did initially and um, we're gonna fill the tanks with water we've got our own water on the land so we don't have kind of council water which I do want to bring in as well we've never ever had the need because we do have water on the land which you know in Cyprus having water is like gold dust so I'm going to fill up the tanks and see um, kind of try and start washing things down I will bring in people in to clean the house properly but just to settle dampen the dust a bit just to because there's I'll try and take you around and, and show you it today but it was hard for me yesterday to turn on the camera and I've got wee shots of the house but it's so hard to turn on the camera and show what the house has become actually you know we're gonna have to gonna organize somebody to change the roof as change the roof repair the repair the roof so we need to do that because there's leaks in the house now needs a good paint and just basically seeing what works and what doesn't work and uh, putting all of that in the skip as well there is absolutely no chance of us staying in the house there's no way and um, so we've booked the extra nights in the hotel very basic hotel to, still to show you around that but you know it's a bed at night last night we we actually I was so tired probably more mentally exhausted than anything else um, so we just kind of had a takeaway last night ordered into the hotel last night and just had something in the room and then I just kind of fell asleep and then spent most of the night awake you know when things are going round in your head and mm -hmm. the weirdest thing happened I actually kept waking up thinking I was sleeping in the house it was really weird but anyway so off to the supermarket get some cleaning stuff so that's where we're at at the moment I will eventually take you down into Nicosia properly and have a wee walk around but I just wanted to give you a, a little update as to where we're because I know yesterday's vlogging was um, didn't actually take place but uh, let's hope today it'll be a wee bit better and it explains the lack of footage or whatever footage that I took yesterday. That's us arrived at the supermarket, the metro, and uh, another glorious day. It's sunny, it's about 18 degrees. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. This would be the perfect summer's day in Scotland. Right. So what? <laughs> I'm all... What are we getting? Oh, right. 
priorities. My husband says let's go and get wine. We're here for a walk and bleach and he says let's go and get wine. Here. Bags. Right. I'm gonna leave you because I have to shop. They were cheaper than that one in the twenty five of them. Anyway. Let's pick what we want. Who's that? Uh, making progress. We are now loading the car. My husband's loaded to um, take to, you know, the needy. So that's that. Managed to empty this room and we've um, lifted the carpet to reveal tiles on the floor. So here's another room emptied. Completely emptied. This is an antique worth money. So we're not getting rid of that actually, once it's cleaned up, it's a beautiful piece of furniture but it's completely emptied now, arranged for the roof, Gonna somebody's come out, price the roof or pricing the roof so we'll know how much we need to fix the roof to stop any leakage which is called what's called the dampness, that's why I lifted the carpet out of here which is all the damp smell so that's all out of here. Kitchen kitchen just needs a clean up. I mean it's kitchen's fine. Just needs a clean up. Just I threw out freezes and things out of there. The rest is still work in progress. Still trying to you don't even want to see. I mean it still looks as if the house is bugging in there. You know we're getting rid of stuff and getting rid of stuff and um actually we're not getting anywhere. But what I will do is, I'll take you, we opened up the garage and oh my goodness me, it's scary. Watch that door, let's open the door. And uh, let's go. And right there is where I want to build, right there. Probably need another two skips like that. I think at least another one so this is what used to be the driveway which is now overgrown and there's a the skip that's us we've been back to the hotel showered How much was changed nice. yeah so out for something to eat again which is more than we did last night so uh, we're gonna try this um what is it kind of a greek mezzi bar yeah type thing yeah, sure, yeah. So we'll see what this is like. No. Let's go in. Okay, thank you. Smoking here. Is this for smoking in here, yeah? Yeah. Oh, I'm allergic to no. cigarettes. We'll just go back up there. Sorry. Uh huh. It's just a wee appetizer. Armenian bastoma Suzuki. Appetite. What appetizers are amazing. Trilogy of Kalamata olives. You in two or two? Not, not yet. Not yet? Not quite, no. Not quite. Mm. 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 Even looked at that. Anyway, 
Cheers. Cheers. What we've got here, we've got... That's tzatziki, right? We've got tzatziki. That, I think that's a smoked aubergine. And what was the other one? No, that looks like smoked aubergine. What was the other one? It's a cheese. I think it was a cheese. Well, that must be the aubergine then. And uh, the ramo salada. Lovely as well. Mm. Mm. Let's try one, yeah? yeah. Olive jade, they're lovely. So we've got ravioli here and a trio of meats. next time. Bye! Some good footage today of